Hey y'all. Uh, I'm, I'm a little reluctant to do Zeppelin songs because of copyright trouble, but, uh, you know, on this James James channel, <laughs> I'm starting fresh. I don't have any copyright strikes, so I'm assuming I can experiment and try a Zeppelin number and see what happens. Right? <laughs> so I'm not going to play along with it or anything, but I'm just going to explain how I would play it. And this one is brought to you by Zeppelin at Nebworth. Um, it's, uh, it sounds a lot better on a 12 string, I think, but uh, since I don't have one, I'm going to go with the biggest sounding guitar I've got. <laughs> and it's in uh, A or A7 or A minor, whatever you want to call it, but it starts with, it starts with this. It almost sounds like an open tuning kind of thing, but it's not. It's in standard tuning. So you got an A7, just off on the B string and the back on. And then it goes to an A minor 7, so your B string was at the second fret, now it's down the first. So when you slide that, take that A7 shape, slide it up two frets, so now the B is at third, the D's at four. And then you add, you go, add the high E at the fifth. So. Um, the, the ones that he was doing with Plant in, uh, you know, the mid-90s and those tours uh, were a little bit, uh, I don't know, less subtle in the strumming. So he's kind of... sort of a different arrangement, a little bit choppier, I guess. But uh, find your own rhythm for it, I, I suppose. Keep you from the gallows, G to D, keep from the gallows, pull the back into it. goes through a bunch of those for the first, I guess, couple of verses, right? It goes to A. Did you bring me to keep me from the gallows pole? And A. Hangman. DG. This is the hangman. Hangman, hold it a little while, that part. Hangman. Okay, so we're into the, after the, it doesn't go back to that intro part anymore. For the for, After the first couple of verses, it goes into this other part. So it's A, G, D, G, A, D, G. So you would expect it to go. It doesn't do that. It goes. song proper, the, the rocked up part. The only thing that changes, it does a bunch of those things, which is just hitting that G note, E string, third fret into an A chord. And that, that's another uh, difference between the, you know, the Zeppelin recorded version and the Page Plant ones, because Jimmy's, uh, you know, I, I think as the years have gone by, it's not his fretting hand that suffered. It's, it's Jimmy's strumming hand that suffered the most. Because he, he's, he's a little bit... Uh, he's not as fluid on, on the strumming and the picking as he used to be. He's still great, mind you. He's still the best in my book. But uh, not way, the way he was. Um, which is... It's, it's not a fair comparison to make anyway. No, nobody's the same 45 years later. Um, so you get into a lot. The only thing that's different is there's one part when he goes, Would you bring... So it goes, what did you bring me? 
C, D. And I think it might only do that once in like the, the third verse or the fourth verse. But listen for it and you'll hear it. And that's just a C. Decide for yourself how much percussive stuff you wanted and how much of the A chord you wanted it. Because, uh, that's a, you know, over the years Jimmy has kind of changed that up a little bit to get, it's almost all of this these days. But um, that's really the whole tune and it, it, it plays out on this. You know, that kind of stuff. But you'll, you'll get, you'll be able to string them together in order just by playing along with it. And, um, getting the different parts, but there's really only those chords, the intro part. And then... So good luck with that one. I don't, I don't think I have too much trouble. It's actually an easy one once you get that. I think the only trick chord is that, if you call it a trick. It's just a, an A minor 7 shape, brought up two frets, and then the high E. Just those three. Good luck. <laughs>